Alright, so number two says, in a tennis game, one tennis ball with a mass of one kilogram and a velocity of three meters per second hits another one kilogram tennis ball that is sitting on the ground. Stop. I'm going to do the before picture before we read the rest of the question, just so I'm like set up and ready to go. So, one of my tennis balls has a mass of one kilogram and a velocity of three meters per second. It's moving this way. Okay. Uh, my second tennis ball has a mass of one kilogram, two, they're all the same size, and it's sitting on the ground, so if it's sitting on the ground, it's at rest, so we assume the velocity is zero meters per second. All right, now, the after part of my diagram, um, after the collision, if one of the balls moves away with a velocity of one meter per second, what is the velocity of the other ball? So, one of them, we know is moving with a velocity of one meter per second, and its mass must be the same, so it's one kilogram. The other one, we don't know how fast it's moving. Question mark meters per second, okay? Um, what we do know is that it still weighs one kilogram, because it didn't say that one of these went on a diet. Okay, so, before, we're going to plug in our object one. So before, the mass was one kilogram. It was going three meters per second. So my mass is one kilogram. And the velocity of that was three meters per second. So three meters per second. Okay, object two was going zero meters per second and had a mass of one kilogram also. Um, so I'll write my mass is one kilogram. And my velocity was zero meters per second. It's at rest, so it's not moving. Afterwards, one of them is going one meter per second um, and weighs one kilogram. So the mass will still be one kilogram. Like I said, no diet. And it's going one meter per second. Object two, we don't know how fast it's going, but we know that it still weighs or has a mass of one kilogram. So the mass is still one kilogram. Um, the velocity, we don't know, so I'll write a question mark there. Just a question mark will do. Okay, so we're going to plug in our values. Our equation is M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M1V1. So this is initial and then final plus m 2 V2. Okay, we'll plug in our values. So my first mass and velocity, it was one kilogram and three meters per second. So one kilogram times three meters per second plus. The second one was one kilogram and zero meters per second. So it weighs one kilogram. And it's going zero meters per second. Okay, equals sign next. My the final mass and velocity of this first object was one kilogram times one meter per second plus the mass of the second object which is going to be one kilogram and we don't know what its velocity is we're looking for the final velocity of that second one so I'm just going to put V2 there all right this is going to simplify very, very easily. So first I'll start with the very beginning. So one kilogram times three meters per second. I'm gonna get three kilogram meters per second. Um, and then plus one kilogram times zero. I'm not even gonna put the plus in there because I know that one times zero is zero. So I'm just gonna write my equal sign. Then I have one kilogram times one meter per second. So that's gonna give me one kilogram meter per second. It's really important that you have the plus sign in here. Okay? The difference between this and the last equations are, and the, and the inelastic, are there two moving objects. So there's one thing going one kilogram meter per second, and there's a second object that has a mass of one kilogram, so one kg, keep the parentheses, times v2, second velocity. All right, so now we just Rewrite this up here, and we're going to simplify it. So I'll lock this off. So I've got three kilogram meters per second over here. Three kilogram meters per 
second equals one kilogram meter per second. One kilogram meter per second. Okay, plus one kilogram times V2. So one kilogram times V2. All right, so we can simplify this very simply. You know the units are the same here. So we've got one kilogram meter per second and three kilogram meters per second. If I'm adding, I do the opposite operation to get rid of it. So I subtract one kilogram meter per second on that side. And I'll subtract the same amount on this side, one kilogram meter per second. Okay, three minus one is gonna give me two kilogram meters per second equals, and these two are gonna cancel, one minus one, zero. And all I'll have left here is the one kilogram times the V2. All right, now this is an easy problem again. This is just a two-step equation. So I need to get V2 by itself. So I'll divide both sides by one kilogram. Divide this side by one kilogram. The one and the one, the kilograms and the kilograms cancel out. The one and the one are also canceled out. On this side, um, the kilograms and kilograms are canceled. And we're left with two meters per second divided by one. Two divided by one is two. So on this side, I have two meters per second equals, and all that's left over here is my V2, so V2. And obviously, this is just a total mess, so we write our answer in a nice clean space over here. So my velocity, or V2, is equal to two meters per second. And that's it.